Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at another piece of Dolphin software. This one is the Guide Connect. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. If you're new, here on this channel we make videos about vision impairment, tips and tricks videos, how-to videos, assistive technology videos like this one. So if that kind of information sounds good to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications so you'll always be alerted every time we put out a new video. So if you remember, we did a video once before about another piece of Dolphin software, and that was Supernova. That's a speech and magnification software that I really like. If you want to check out that video, I'll have a link in the description or popping out on the screen right there. But today we're taking a look at Guide Connect. And what Guide Connect is, is I guess you could call it a computer replacement software. But really it's software that allows you to access a lot of computing tasks like email and camera and notes and video calling, but it makes it much easier to use and fully accessible. So today I'm going to be showing you the program on my Windows computer. This is a Windows based program and it works really well on all types of Windows platforms as far as desktops, laptops, Windows tablets like Surface tablets that are touchscreen. It works really, really well on touchscreens. In fact, that's what I have here and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. But I'll also be demonstrating how you can control it with both a keyboard and a mouse and they also have a remote that you can get. I'll be showing you that one a little bit later. Along with having it on desktops, laptops, and tablets, you can also get the Guide Connect in this little box that you plug up to your TV. That way you can display everything on your television nice and big and you still have full access to all the features and the internet and email and all of that. But that would be great for people that don't have computers. Maybe they don't want the complexity of a computer but they still want access to these things. They can do it in the comfort of their living room on their TV. So Guide Connect is just a program that runs on your computer uh, but you can set it up to automatically turn on whenever you turn on the computer. So once again, if you are setting this up for someone that isn't very tech savvy or computer savvy, doesn't want to use a computer, you can set it up to where this will automatically turn on every single time. First things you'll notice is the very large, graphical, colorful, easy to understand user interface. You have large high contrast icons, high contrast buttons. Once again, three different ways to control this. You can control it with the remote, you can control it with the mouse and keyboard, or if you have a touch screen, it's perfectly set up to be used on a touch screen. I can navigate around the screen just by touching an item that I want to hear what it is. Letters and documents websites or I can use the buttons on the sides here to control that as well scanner and camera books and news address book and calendar books and news let's go through all the items here on the main menu real quick address book and calendar entertainment notes video calling tools settings exit guide connect so lots of items here on the main menu. A lot of your main computing functions that you would probably want to access, like emails, websites, your address book. Obviously some things are gonna be connected, like if you enter in information into the address book, then when you're going to send an email, you'll be able to access that information. Also letters and documents. Letters and documents. Let's jump into tools real quick so we can show you guys some sub menus. Tools. Now I could double tap on this icon to choose it or I can press the OK here. Tools. Eight options. Calculator. Dictionary. Training. Backup and restore. File explorer. Support. Check for updates. About. So lots of very helpful tools in here including the calculator and the dictionary. One thing I wanted to touch on while we were in here is the level of support that you get with Guide Connect. Uh, you have some training, you have support here as well. They have video tutorials, they even offer one-on-one -on -one training if that is needed. 
So in here in the website section, this gives you access to pretty much the entire internet. You can jump into a new Open website. Open a new web page. Our web page. You can save favorites to make it easier to find at a later time. One really cool thing is you have TV presets. TV presets. TV. Five options. Netflix. So these are a lot of your streaming platforms already preloaded for you. Uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime, YouTube. Disney. Disney. Hulu. Hulu. So this is really, really cool. If someone likes to watch TV and movies on their device, they can quickly jump right into there very easily. So we'll come back to entertainment. I know that's a popular one for a lot of people, but one thing I wanted to touch on is video calling. Video calling. This is a really cool feature that they've added in. This basically lets you do video calls to anyone else who's also using Guide Connect, but it's not necessarily just limited to the Guide Connect users. Anybody can go onto the Dolphin website, create an account, and then be able to make video calls to the Guide Connect users. So this is really cool, a great way to stay connected with family and friends. All right, let's jump into the entertainment. Entertainment, entertainment, four options, radio. In here you have four options. You have radio, podcast, audio and CD, and then games. So this is nice, a lot of entertainment in here. Podcasts. Podcasts. I was listening to a podcast earlier. Let's jump in there and I'll show you that. Podcasts, four options, continue playing we couldn't even find our kitchen so that's the one i was listening to earlier but you can also set favorite podcasts you can search for a new podcast to listen to and you can go through your downloaded podcast let's check out the one here that i was listening to playing mystic access podcast where the magic is in learning about the two upcoming classes on both listening to and creating your own podcast so and then to continue along with entertainment, we also have books. Books and news. Books and news. Two options, books. So you have books and you have news. Let's jump into books real quick just to take a look at the different libraries that are available. Books, three options, my books. So you have your list of your books. You can find a new book. You can read a book on this device. Find a new book. Online libraries, five options, Bookshare. So I wanted to show you guys this real quick. Just a large, a really cool, large assortment of online libraries or online book repositories. Bookshare. Sella Library. Sella, which I'm not necessarily, I'm not really familiar with. Project Gutenberg. Project Gutenberg. That's a well-known one. NLS Bard. NLS Bard, probably the most well-known. Bookshare and NLS Bard. Caliber Audio. And Calibre Audio, another great book library. So really cool to have those book libraries already pre-installed on here. One of the goals that Dolphin had with Guide Connect was to make it as easy to use as possible and as accessible as possible. And they've truly done that. Even some operations that you might think would be a little complicated, like composing a new email, they've really simplified the whole process. And in fact, when you do compose a new email, it systematically walks you through all the steps of like putting in the recipient's email address, the subject, all of that. They've pretty much turned it into like if you're familiar with a wizard on a computer, walks you through step by step. Something else really cool about email is you can have up to four different email addresses. Something I definitely wanted to touch on is the scanner and camera. Scanner and camera. Scanner and camera. Four options. Scanner. So you can connect a scanner to this and scan your documents. You also have a camera. You can have, a, here's an area for your scan documents. You can look at those. And then there's an area for your images that you've taken with the camera. Let's take a quick look at the camera. Camera. Capture image. Press OK to capture an image. All right. <laughs> and it really quickly opens up your camera. Uh, this has a built-in camera up here somewhere. Uh, there it is. But of course, you could have a camera set up next to you. And what's really cool is not only can you take photos and send, share those photos with people, just normal things you do with a camera, but you also have this little icon up here that has extra actions. 
And this icon pops up in a lot of different places, but when I click on it, color change, seven options, opens up this menu here and gives us a lot of options that are similar to electronic magnifiers. Uh, most of us are pretty familiar with using a CCTV or a desktop digital magnifier. These options are very similar to the ones you would find on those. Invert brightness, high contrast black on white, high contrast white on black, yellow on blue, white on blue, yellow on black. So that's a nice little feature. Once again, if you had a separate camera set up here pointing down at your desk, you could use the Guide Connect as an electronic magnifier. Scanned image. There, took a picture. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful shot? <laughs> so now that I've taken that very beautiful picture, I have some separate actions available here. If I click this button. Image actions, five options, change colors. I can change those colors. Rotate. I can rotate the image. Scan for text. Scan for text, we'll come right back to that one. Save. I can save it. Print image. Or I can print the image. Let's come back. Capture image, press OK to capture an image. And we're gonna take a picture of a document here. So if I can get it lined up, there we go. And I'm just gonna hit the OK. Scanned image. There we go. Now if I bring out those actions. Ch image actions. Five options. Change colors. Scan for text. Scan for text. Press OK. Your text is being recognized. Your text is being recognized. Please wait. Scan complete. Press OK or tap the screen with two fingers to play or pause. So now it is scanned in that text and it's displayed here. Once again, on a touch screen, I can pinch to zoom and make it larger. But if I hit two fingers. Beacon, story, blind, YouTuber, finding, his, spot. If I'm using a keyboard, I can use the arrows to go line by line. Light 4111 by dad of two children hiding in Kentucky. So Finally, let's talk about the different ways to control Guide Connect. I've been using the touch screen this whole time just because it's super easy and convenient. But remember that if you don't have a touch screen, you can still use this 100% and it works really, really well. There's the two other ways. You can do it with a keyboard and a mouse or there's the remote. First, let's take a look at the keyboard and mouse. I can use arrow keys to navigate around the screen here. Letters and document, websites, scanner and camera, books and news. If I want to click on something, I just hit the enter key. Books and news, to newspaper books. If I want to go back, I hit the escape. Main menu, 12 options, letters and website, scanner and camera. There's actually a ton of keyboard shortcuts that are available. For the mouse, look at this nice, beautiful, big mouse pointer that you can have. Websites, I can click on what emails, I want to. letters and documents. It's nice and big. Documents, four options, main menu. This pointer, this mouse pointer, along with a lot of the interface is customizable in the settings. So if this yellow mouse pointer doesn't really work well for you, you can change that. Now let's take a quick look at the remote. Aside from using the touch screen, the remote is probably the easiest way to control the Guide Connect. I really like what they've done with this remote. I think they've made some great choices with this. Uh, the remote is this kind of light blue or teal color, maybe like a sea foam. I don't know, my colors aren't great, but I love the contrast between the black buttons and this lighter colored background. They also have a very high contrast white icon or label on the black buttons. But with the remote, you can quickly control the guide connect. Scanner and camera, books and news, address book and ca books and scan, websites, letters and documents. Click OK. Documents, four options. Even has a back button here. Main menu, 12 options. One thing I really like is there's a button, a dedicated button on the remote to control the zoom level of the user interface. Zoom level two, zoom level one, zoom level, zoom level three. So if you don't need the icons as big as they are, zoom level two, you can make them smaller and see more on the screen at one time. 
Something else I wanted to demonstrate really quickly with the remote is you also have the microphone button on the remote. So this can be used for dictating emails or letters or documents. Hello, comma, how are you today, question mark. Hello, comma, how are you today, question. And then I can use the zoom button if I want to see more of that sentence. Zoom level, zoom level, zoom level nine. There you go. Hello, how are you today? Got it perfectly. So yeah, I think the remote is really probably the way to go for most people. And in fact, the remote is definitely essential if you're going to be using the Guide Connect on your TV. The remote paired up with a Bluetooth keyboard, you'd be set. All right, guys, so that was a quick look at the new Dolphin Guide Connect. If you'd like more information about Guide Connect, including pricing of the different versions, how to get it, availability, all of that, definitely check out all the contact information I will have linked in the description down below. One of those links will be to the Dolphin website where you can download a 30-day free trial of Guide Connect to try it out free of charge before you buy. Big thank you to Dolphin for letting me make this video for you guys. A big thank you to you for watching it. If you have any questions for me, as always, leave those down in the comments. I'll do my best to help out. You can also contact me directly, sam at theblindlife.net. Definitely check out the website, theblindlife.net. There's a contact form on there. You can also learn a little bit about my story. You can also learn about the blind and low vision merchandise that I sell through The Blind Life. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please help support the channel by giving it a big thumbs up. Hit the like button. And as I said at the beginning, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. I put out a new video on blindness every single Saturday. But that's it for this one, guys. Thank you again. It's Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.